Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 257. It's moving day once again. It is basically every other day this month and yes, it is exhausting in case you were wondering but it does allow us to stay in these bigger rooms without spending as much money because we're only doing two nights instead of three. So we are saving money that way. So we are leaving our two bedroom villa here at Boardwalk and heading to a three bedroom grand villa over at Saratoga Springs. So we got all packed up this morning, got all of our suitcases ready to go called Bell Services and had them transfer our luggage from Boardwalk to Saratoga Springs. We then grabbed a bus over to Disney Springs because the whole family is meeting there. My brother and sister-in-law are actually leaving later today. So we all wanted to meet at Disney Springs and go to the PhotoPass Center so we could do pictures together, get really nice pictures that aren't selfies of one of us holding out the phone and all those things. We wanted really good pictures so we all showed up. And this is really interesting because you do stand in front of a green screen. You have no idea what you're taking pictures in front of. And they just go, okay, you know, you stand there, you stand there. Everybody smile and they just tell you to smile and hold it. So you smile and you smile and you smile. And you're like, what, what's going to be behind me? I have no idea. It's basically a bunch of magic shots because you literally don't know what's coming, but they do such a great job. And you get these amazing photos afterwards mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about rain or a thunderstorm or anything like that, or even crowds because there's nobody in the background of your photos because it's all green screen. We took a ton of pictures together, just had a lot of fun with that. We even got some fun pictures. She told us to do a thinking face. We're like, okay, so we got a thinking picture. And then she said, do scared. And I don't know what anyone in my family was doing, but this was just a really weird scared picture. Apparently none of us were born actors or actresses because we did not know what we were doing, but it made the picture more fun. Then my parents took some pictures together. They got some really sweet ones and then did a fun one. And then Robert and I wanted to do pictures together and we got a ton of pictures, way more than we did for anything else. I'm not complaining because that means we have a lot of photos, mm -hmm. but we just had a lot of different backgrounds, different poses, everything. I don't know if we were faster at posing, so we got more shots, I'm not sure but we got a lot of pictures and did a fun one as well. We then took pictures with just the immediate family, no in-laws, took a couple of those, and then we did just the five kids. We got some good pictures of just the five of us, and then of course we had to do a silly one because it's us and that's who we are. She told us to look surprised, and I think this was more of our scared face. Maybe we got them confused, I'm not sure, but it made for a really funny picture later when we were looking through PhotoPass and all these pictures are coming up. Again, we didn't know what we were taking pictures in front of. So we're just doing what she tells us or attempting to do what she tells us because clearly we did not do a good job, but it made for great pictures. And with the nice ones we have, my mom was able to use some of them for Christmas cards later this year. After the pictures were done, we all went our separate ways. My oldest brother, my sister-in-law and my other brother went to the park because it's their last day here. So they wanted to go one more time. And then my youngest brother and dad went with Robert to Saratoga Springs. They're hoping that the room will be ready soon. They can get in there, take pictures. So my sister, mom, and I were actually waiting for a friend of ours. He's a cast member and he had asked how our experience at Character Warehouse went. He hasn't been in a while, asked if there was anything good there because he knew we were going yesterday. And when I told him I didn't know and everything that happened, he was like, oh my goodness, I'm glad I didn't go. I'm like, I know it was really rough. So he actually offered to take us to Cast Connection, which is basically a discount Disney store for cast members and their guests. They are allowed to bring a few people. So he offered to take us. So he picked us up from Disney Springs and took us there so we could do some shopping after our crazy experience yesterday at Character Warehouse. We went and waited for a bus to get over to Saratoga Springs. And I thought it should be along pretty shortly because it's right around the corner, not a very far drive. And we waited and waited and waited and got to see all these really cool brand new mm -hmm. buses rolling out. We saw several different designs, several different characters on the buses, thought it was pretty cool. Kind of curious which one we're gonna get. And we just kept waiting and never got a bus. So finally I went to talk to someone and said, hey, um, we haven't had a bus and it's been 45 minutes since I got here because I have a picture of another bus driving through here when I got in line. And the guy said, oh no, we had a bus come through about 20 minutes ago. It's like, no, you didn't because I'm at the front of the line and I've been there the whole time. So whoever was supposed to stop for Saratoga Springs didn't stop. So he got on the phone and called to get a driver over there because they haven't had one in a while. So they did get a bus over to us and we finally got over to Saratoga Springs, took the bus all the way to the front because we did not have a text saying our room was ready yet. 
went to the front desk and said, hey, is there any chance, I know it's a grand villa, so it takes a long time to clean, but any chance we could have a room early, we'd really appreciate it. We're already here kind of, you know, waiting for the room. And they said, actually, we do have one ready. It just wasn't inspected by housekeeping yet. So we can get a housekeeper out there to inspect it right now. And as soon as that's done, we can let you in the room. So maybe 10, 15 minutes, by the time you get over to the building, you'll be good to go in there. And I was like, that's perfect. So we walked on over to our building for the three bedroom grand villa, got inside and took pictures of all the different details around because Alyssa wasn't there to do it. That's usually what she does. And I was going to do a room tour, but I decided to wait until Alyssa got back so that she could pull the couch out and we could do the introduction and all that stuff together. So I headed back up to the front to talk to the front desk because I saw a lot of construction going on at a couple of the buildings nearby. And I was really curious what was going on over there. So I went to the front to start talking to them about it and find out you know, what information I could find. And it turns out they are remodeling the rooms here at Saratoga Springs, which I had heard something about, but they have actually started getting them back into inventory now. And I said, well, is there any way we can get a remodeled room and change rooms? And they said, no, because right now all they have are studios and one bedrooms and also two bedroom lock-offs because that's a studio and a one bedroom, but they don't have any grand villas finished yet. I was like, okay, well, maybe next time we'll get a grand villa that's refurbished or something. But it's really cool to know they have the rooms finishing up and coming back into inventory. They did not have any that were open that we could go and tour. I was kind of hoping for that, but I told them we're gonna be back next week because we do have another room booked here. So when we come back, I'm gonna see if I can tour one of those remodeled rooms if we don't get one for our room. About the time I got back to the room from walking back over to our building, cause Saratoga is a pretty big resort. <laughs> Alyssa texted me and said that she was almost there. So she got there, I was like, perfect. She'll get here, we'll put away the stuff that she bought. Everybody can wait outside and we'll do the room tour real quick and then everybody can come in the room and hang out. So I'm in the kitchen in the Grand Villa waiting on Alyssa to come in and she had told me she was gonna spend about $75 probably. She found a few shirts and things that would be really good. And I was like, hey, I'm always open to new shirts because I only have so many t-shirts and I've worn through a bunch of them this year. So always up for more Disney clothes, right? And she walks in carrying two of the jumbo Disney shopping bags and mom was behind her carrying a couple of shopping bags and her sister had a couple as well. And I was like, is that all their stuff? And she goes, no, most of it's mine. And I was like, how much money did you spend? Because you said 70, I mean like, I don't really care, but I was just kind of really surprised as you said $75 and you got all this stuff. And she goes, no, no, I kept it under $75. I was like, what exactly happened? We had been to Cast Connection a couple times throughout the year, but had never had an experience like this. I went inside and there were several racks of men's shirts that said 99 cents and $1.99. And I was like, are these just ugly shirts that nobody wants? Like what's going on? They just had so many of them, they had to get rid of them. So I went shopping for Robert and literally got him a ton of shirts. And I told him for every shirt I got you, you have to get rid of another one. So literally we had to go through the suitcases and switch them out later in the evening. We went through like, okay, one of these, got to get rid of this one because some of them were thinner or maybe they're too thick to wear in the park. So we get rid of those. So he was able to get a lot of new clothes without us spending too much money on them. After she finished showing me all the stuff that she brought home, we did put that stuff away and kind of hide it in a cabinet. And then we did our room tour around the room so we could put it on YouTube and Facebook later. So let's head upstairs and we're gonna check out the other two bedrooms that we have upstairs. But first I wanna stop in here and show you the hard work Alyssa has put in to pull out the queen size bed uh, from inside the couch. And as I said, it is one of those older ones that doesn't have a regular mattress on it. It's got this kind of foam mattress topper thing that's attached to the bed. So um, a little bit different than some of the other beds that we've seen in the other resorts. And I'm sure they'll be taking care of that as they are remodeling these rooms. And as usual, you can see that entire room tour linked in the description down below and up there in the corner. And we have also linked the new remodeled Grand Villa down in the description below as well. Once we were done with all of that, we all went down and grabbed a bus over to Hollywood Studios. We were meeting my other brothers and sister-in-law there just for a few hours before they head back to the resort to take Magical Express back to the airport. One of the main reasons we came here was so they could all use their snack credits. They have got lots of snack credits left. 
But that's kind of the fun of it because then you go and redeem them all and then you still have Disney snacks when you get home. So you have something to take with you. So the Disney isn't completely gone away from you. You have some little snacks to enjoy while you're at home. So they were burning their snack credits and we all kind of split up and went different directions. After we had walked around for a bit, I realized that it was just my mom and myself but I hadn't heard from my dad in a while, and I knew that Robert, my sister and brother, had gone to ride Rock and Roller Coaster, so they were in line for that. And I knew my other brother was getting snacks, but I hadn't heard from my dad. And I texted him a couple times like, hey, just let me know where you are. You can meet us here. No response. I called him. No response. So I text Robert, hey, is dad with you? No. Called my other brother, is dad with you? No. Well, my dad is one of those people that can fall asleep anywhere, literally anywhere. So now my mom and I are convinced that he has fallen asleep on a bench somewhere and we have no idea where he is. And I don't know if you know this, but there are a lot of places you can sit in a Disney park. So we literally started walking down Sunset Boulevard looking for anyone that could be asleep sitting on a bench somewhere. We're walking around and at this point I'm calling my dad again. I've called my other brother. Nobody's responding to me. And a few minutes later, my brother calls. He goes, hey, what's up? I'm like, is dad with you? He goes, yeah, why? Why is no one answering their phone? What's going on? He goes, oh, well, because I wanted to surprise him. I'm like, okay, but you didn't have to surprise me. What are we surprising him with? He goes, I paid for him to build a lightsaber. The one thing my dad really, really wanted to do when he was here was build a lightsaber. Unfortunately, it was something my parents just couldn't make work this time. Hopefully next time, that's what they were hoping. But my dad loved the lightsaber that Robert built. And then my brother built one and he would just love holding it. He really enjoyed holding it. And so my brother paid for him to build a lightsaber and was surprising him, but forgot to tell the rest of us where he was. So my mom and I are all concerned that my dad is lost somewhere in the park and he's having the best time of his life building a lightsaber. And he comes up so excited after he's built the lightsaber. He shows it off to us, tells us why he's picked each piece and why it's there. And then he goes, can I take a picture with Chewbacca? you can absolutely take a picture with Chewbacca and your lightsaber. And so we headed over there and he got some pictures with Chewbacca, had his lightsaber out. He was so proud. After my dad got his pictures with Chewbacca, we said our goodbyes to my oldest brother and sister-in-law. They do have to head home tonight. They have to catch a bus back to their resort and then catch Magical Express to the airport. We said goodbye to them, but the rest of us stayed here in Hollywood Studios because we have a late dinner reservation at Mama Melrose. We love eating at Mama mm -hmm. Melrose and my mom does too. And when she asked if we could eat there, I was like, I will do my best to get us a reservation. It was a late one, but she didn't care. She wanted to eat there. It counts. So it does. And so we're really excited about that. My mom got what she wanted. She got dinner there and my dad got a lightsaber. So everyone's really happy today. When we got there, we didn't really need much time to figure out what we no. wanted to eat because we've been here a lot and we know what we like. Several of us ordered the New York strip steak that comes with the mac and cheese. It is so good. It's my go-to every time we come here and I didn't even take pictures of my food because we were here just like a week ago with my brother-in-law and my sister and my niece. So we just kind of ate and didn't take pictures. It was kind of weird not to take pictures of my food, honestly. And then Alyssa and her mom shared the chicken and pasta dish. This was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I did like my steak better, but it wasn't bad. The chicken and pasta was pretty good. And then her sister wasn't all that hungry. So she got the kids meal and she just got the roasted chicken with broccolini, which I don't know if it was good, but she did eat it all, so it must have been okay. And because the family had a lot of extra dining credits just from sharing meals and not eating certain days throughout the week, we had enough for everyone to eat on the dining plan, which means everybody also gets a dessert. So I ordered the tiramisu. It is my favorite thing on the menu here at Mama Melrose. Her brother got the sampler, which comes with three different desserts, a little cheesecake, a sponge cake, and a tiramisu. And her mom got something we've never even considered before, the chocolate cherry tort, which looked really pretty and it was good, but I really enjoyed my tiramisu, so I'm definitely not gonna order that. I'm sticking with the tiramisu. My sister and I each got the gelato, she got vanilla, I got chocolate. After they brought it to us though, they're like, did you guys want any toppings with that? I'm like, do you have toppings? We didn't know we could get that. They're like, yeah, it's completely free. You can each get a topping. So I ordered the hot fudge because chocolate on chocolate, I mean, why not? She asked for sprinkles for hers, and because we're at Disney World, they brought Mickey-shaped sprinkles, of course. So we each got some toppings there, and we all enjoyed our desserts. 
Once we finished those, we left and headed to the buses to our respective resorts. My brother, who's been staying with us, came back with us. So I asked him if I could take pictures of all the different snacks he got today because I wanted to be able to post and share all the things you can get with a snack credit. And he got so many different things, but it did crack me up because not only did he get the Mickey shaped cookies, he also got things like cotton candy in multiple different forms and also got pixie sticks of all things, but they're his snack credits. He's allowed to use them how he wants. I asked him if he could help me take some pictures because I wanted to get a couple cookies together. I was like, I'll just hold them. All you have to do is hit the button. And somehow he hit the wrong button, turned the camera around and snapped a picture of us instead. And then we both laughed because we're like, what are you doing? And he's like, this is why you do it and I don't. I'm like, clearly, because that was just so much for you to do. All you had to do was hit the button. I had it ready for you. We did manage to get the pictures we needed and packed everything back up. And then we headed to bed because we are very tired after a long day. And that was the end of our day today. So we'll see you tomorrow. For our year with the ears.